kind of feels like you're opening up some vintage treasury stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is very nice. Is this what I think it is? Let's find out, shall we? We're carefully cutting through. Higo no Kami the knife is doing a very good job so far. Oh, right, so it actually peels off. Whoa, so the moment of truth. Ah. So this is a package from a company called X3 Art. They actually approached me asking whether I'll be interested to review any of their products. Uh, so I had a selection of iPhones, so I actually chose one of the most expensive one, which is the iPhone 10 or iPhone X, uh, because there were several good reasons behind it. But before we get into the details of my decision on it, let's actually open up the package, shall we? Alright, so really nice package. It kind of feels like you're opening up some vintage treasury stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is very nice. I just love it. This is really, really cool. So again, this is the X3 Art uh, iPhone 10 or X, which way you want to prefer it. And actually it has the um, scratch resistant protector film as well. So I'm going to peel that later on. But the reason I actually decided to go for the iPhone 10 is that I think I would like to summarize it as a tribute to Steve Jobs. I mean, the guy was a brilliant guy. He always inspired me into tech and so on. And I was actually a fan of Apple products until uh, the point that he lived. So after he passed away, I could see that uh, the iPhone and all the, their products is gonna go downwards. And I don't really value the iPhone products at all. So what I remember about iPhone 10 is the fact that it was an edge to edge challenged phone. Um, so that it was trying to get rid of the bezel as much as it can because it was probably the first phone to inspire to get rid of the home button. Um, it had also the very cool function of tap to screen to wake up your phone and also the face ID was a big thing at the time. But there, I remember like Samsung was having a go at Apple having this bezel and I think the word bezel was really trendy, it started to get very trendy at the time as well. And still I think we're seeing iPhone with the bezel on as well. I'm not really keeping up with iPhone, I know there's soon to be a Apple event so um, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. But I think it was probably one of the first um, Apple phone or any other phone that reached more than 1000 US dollars as well that really put me off so I was initially a bit tempted but I decided to say no but it was quite an advanced uh, phone at the time and um, I just like to keep this as a remembrance for Steve Jobs so you can actually see that the uh, front camera details here this is really fascinating the earpiece uh, the 12 megapixel uh, camera, two of them, they are really well constructed, isn't it? With the aluminum sort of um, uh, construction on it. It's, it's, it looks really solid as well. We got two uh, batteries. I remember hearing this, there was this dual battery system, um, the uh, 3.81 volts and the 10.35 watt, um, what is this, W.8. So this is about 2,716 milliamp hour, which is comparing to the phones that we get nowadays is nothing. I mean, this is about, I believe 3,800 or nearly, nearly 4,000 milliamps. So you can see that the phone has actually gone uh, way further than what it was believed to be one of the most advanced phone at the time. That's why you should never spend too much money on your phone. Uh, the other thing is I love the way how the screen is built. You can actually see the frame. Um, and also the microphone. What do you mean by microphone? I just can't make anything out of that. And the speaker is very tiny as well. And the highlight of this whole thing is that the A11 chip, that is beautiful. 
uh, the Taptic Engine. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that Taptic Engine and the flex cable and also this uh, seems to imply that this particular battery on the one below seems to be slightly bigger. It has this wireless charging function on it, but I don't see that cabling and details and so on. But this is really, really, really good. I mean, the one thing that I find the, the most important thing out of this whole thing, even though Steve Jobs did not live to see it, and maybe he was preparing for this phone. I don't know the behind story with this, so you guys could um, actually let me know. But actually it shows the first release was actually yeah 2017 november the third okay and it discontinue on the following year of september 12th on 2018 um but the most important thing going back to what i really want to highlight is the phrase that steve job actually said which is things don't have to change the world to be important with a signature from steve jobs so i really miss the guy actually i wish he was back i mean i'm, I'm sure many people misses him he was such a great inspirational figure that I always look upon when I actually have difficulties in my life to inspire my life and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it actually. So um, just to have this on the wall, it's, it's, it is a great piece of art. Um, if you're into tech, if you like all the way how the structures will work, if you like this skeleton effect, uh, this is a worth, definitely worth the money. I mean, I'm sure when we actually look back in 20 or 30 years time, we I actually basically spent 200 pounds getting this display unit by recording this video for you guys. But you never know how much of a value this is going to go up. Obviously, I'm not an expert. We shall see how it goes. But I think when it comes to iPhone, the iPhone 10 has a significance on this whole development of the technology and so on. So that's why I wanted to celebrate and ask um, x ray Art to send me across this beautiful piece of art, actually, I have to say. So that I could also always put it on the back side of the wall as a feature for my channel as well. I know that YouTubers will get 100,000, they, once they reach 100,000 subscribers, they'll get this sort of like a YouTube logo with the carved out YouTube, um, whatever it is. But I much prefer a thousand times more to get this. This actually signifies what sort of YouTuber I am and what sort of interest I am into. And it's surely a beautiful piece of art. So um, yes, please do check it out on the X3Art uh, website if you're a fan of the Nintendo DS or any of the Android phone or iPhone and you wanna, you got a certain good memories about these products, definitely get it, display on your wall, time by time, look at it and enjoy the piece of art. We call it technology, the tech. Anyhow, I hope this video explained to you what uh, the x ray Art company is about. And this is just, I have to say, just thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. It feels like I won a terrific award for running this YouTube channel. So um, yeah, if you have any queries, if you wanna find out more about the details, please do let me know. So I'll probably try to post it on the Instagram or on my Twitter account as well. So all the best, bye-bye.